you got our PSO2 headline dream of four. February and we got some information about the net PSO2 crossover with a warning Kenshin and of course some of you uh, might very much be very surprised by this for reasons we are going to be discussing in the video and why this is not exactly the best look for a Sega and a PSO2 new Genesis especially over in the west uh, but before we hop into all this for anyone who not aware of what the cradle of warning kenshin took part in and still taking part in just a heads up we will be discussing a child abuse cp collections of said cp uh, so if this is uh too much for you i totally understand i will see you in the next video but just a little bit of a warning on this as well as if you want to read up on any more of this stuff, I will have a link below uh, to a whole bunch of distant resources uh, for you uh, to check out to get a, any more insightful look into what exactly happened with uh, this uh, crossover and the cradle of Warning Kenshin. Let's just go ahead, let's jump into this and uh, let the guts that very touchy uh, subject matter, especially any more so. Uh, with Sega, you know, operating uh, with the Cradle, with seeming no issues at all. So all this ended up taking place in the end of 2017, and we started getting reports out of Japan about the Cradle of Waki, and him being arrested for a child pornography, and we have a statement here uh, from back when it was happening that ends up dating. Waki is accused of possessing DVD content video of naked underage girl in his office in Tokyo last month after another a child pornographer K of resort in a link to Waki and police awaited his office uh, last month once again that was in 2017 and seized evidence though so not only did they end up have a connection to another K but he did indeed have a child pornography in his office. And after being a wicked, Naki ended up uh, putting out a statement uh, that is, of course, him admitting uh, to being guilty, as well as telling the police I was interested in little girl nudity. So, bluntly admitting and also uh, bluntly um, confessing to his interest, not only of owning it, but also uh, enjoying taking part in this. And when it comes to the actual release of information from the publisher, we ended up getting a quote right here where the sequel to Warning Kenshin had begun publication in Monthly Magazine in past September. Once again, that was in 2017. Of Shueisha, the magazine publisher, released a statement saying that it takes the matter gravely and the cartoon manga order in that point have a deep regret as a result of the case. Uh, the popular sequel will be suspended starting net month issue and honestly this is a very odd statement that uh we have some regret any of you admit it to very much enjoying underage goals but nonetheless you might be thinking oh good fantastic uh that means uh his manga series got canceled he in prison and whatnot but um that still don't acquaint the crossover with Sega, and I think you can probably figure out why. So you might be thinking, what ended up happening at this point, because how can it continue into a development and publishing, as this guy ended up just being arrested two months earlier for all this, and also shouldn't he be in prison? Is this a case of maybe his editor just continued the manga and found someone else to finish it? And of course, the answer once again is no, that did not end up happening. Because the Japanese legal system, literally the same day that they ended up arresting him and confiscating his evidence, he pleaded guilty and the Japanese court of law ended up fining him a 200,000 yen, which at the time of the case back in 2017 into early 2018, ended up translating to only $1,900 US. So within the same day of being waited, being arrested, being complicated of all this, being taken to a judge, and at the end of the day, only had to pay 
$1,900 US to become a free man. So no trial, or no court time, or no jail time at all. It was a nothing more than a moment in time, a few hours of inconvenience with some penny took it out of the bank account and Rocky having to restart his collection of CP. And then on top of all of this, after that, Rocky ended up putting out a, another statement after all of this saying, once again, I like go in late elementary school to around a second year middle school. Still going on about very much enjoying and partaking in a child pornography and not really changing at all once again to show how crazy this is uh, that literally all that took place within the same day but nonetheless Naki still over here being very proud and happy about his uh his fetishizing of children and wanting to own a property of children uh, that dives into his desires and of course uh you might be thinking what exactly is going on with the Japanese law if they only finded him $1,900 and of course, we ended up getting any more information here of, from the Anime New, New Network, which is a court by Japanese law here of possession of child pornography in Japan can lead to imprisonment for up to one year and a fine of one million yen, which translate, once again, very pathetically here, to only $8,800. And uh, as you can tell, Waki did not get any will nil that at all since no jail time was submitted and literally at that point of what like maybe three percent of the overall fine of eight thousand since he was at 1900 and it just a sword of how this ended up a walking out of for rocky hill maybe this is the whole thing of once again upon with japanese um like laws and whatnot since the laws is, as you can tell is very distant then it is over on the wet, if you can't tell, by only one year in prison. But nonetheless, Waki at that point was set free. And then two months later, was able to continue uh, buying child pornography. Which he is more than likely still doing. Since he is still very much an advocate uh, for a CP. As well as uh, being very vocal about spending the money he make for Morning Kenshin to partake in fetishes so that brings us up to today well pso new genesis ended up announcing the crossover event with rocky and hit warning kenshin manga off the latest story arc of of the manga as well as the anime that ended up airing i believe what was that like two three seasons ago at the time of that video and once again you might be wondering what what why why is this happening how is this happening and then some of you probably thinking, oh, he was found guilty, he did hit fine, and he moved on. And also, you know, distant cultural different countries have distant laws when it comes to minors and sexual activities. Uh, but nonetheless, with this all being said, though, at least over here in the West, you can't imagine how ill this look upon Sega and PSO2 New Genesis, as well as Sega is, once again, totally okay walking uh in this case with a found guilty proven a braggy a child molester i uh, heal to bring stuff to pso2 this is one of them cases of like as we talked about before with uh the ninja sanji stuff that was just horrible timing on behalf of the release of that crossover well this one obviously since this happened back in 2017 it not like Sega not aware of this, uh, so it could be one of them cases of maybe Sega don't care, maybe the property is still too powerful and they need to make some of that money from doing the crossable event, or once again could be one of them cases of like, oh, he paid literally like a penny and, you know, he, he innocent now and he, he is obviously still partaking in this habit. And just... This is one of them things that is like insane and uh to be totally honest feel like one of them situations uh sega probably should known better to do this but once again all the thing playing involved here uh maybe 
Egypt won or not all, and Sega will do what Sega do. Uh, but at least over here in the West anyway, this is very much uh, not a great look. And obviously, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, boycott Sega, don't boycott Sega, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, it's your choice that you want to take part in this. Uh, this video mainly just to educate you guys on what happened here uh, to make you more informed uh, that, you know, maybe you can separate the art from the artist, maybe you can't, but nonetheless, mainly for education purposes so you guys know what's going on with this situation. If you were not aware, since I've seen a lot of people uh, commenting earlier today when this happened that was not aware or knew something happened but did not know specifically, uh, so hopefully this have informed you all on this situation. And uh, when it comes to buying it up, once again, that is up to you on this. Personally, well, I found that uh, the main issue I'm having is, of course, once again, knowing Sega had no issue working with someone of that type. But also, uh, when it comes to all that is, of course, uh, when it comes to the player base itself, uh, since this channel have always been more about new player affiliates and welcoming new players into the community. And this is like one of them cases that is could become a real issue, especially for uh, a decent amount of people that might be interested in playing PSO or in playing PSO. And it might be one of them cases uh, that is just way too much coming from Sega. Uh, so... That is the, probably the biggest disappointment here of all this is them walking with Rocky with all this and knowing uh, how this is going to affect the player base as well as some future players that might not even play the game now uh, knowing uh, that they did a crossover and obviously <laughs> knowing that, you know, probably supporting someone who very openly uh, take part in CP and very proud of it might not be the best thing to do and then we torn uh you know might be a, a little bit of a hopeful and a torn off uh for sega to receive new players but once again i know that margin is very tiny and at the end of the day probably don't fit all that much but it's still one of them things i find extremely sad that stuff like this uh will not only support rocky and sega willing to you know support him but also for the player bay of uh, bringing in some people that could very much enjoy PSO2 New Genesis. But that is just my opinion on all of this and uh, education on what ended up happening with this. So hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully uh, at some point we can make a video that not horribly depressing. Uh, be sure to get on that Sega. Hopefully that won't happen in the future again. Uh, and hopefully this is something Sega will, will live maybe maybe working with problematic uh people and uh, publishing and you know cradles of this media uh, might not be the best ideal for you or then again maybe that will be the highest selling uh flat ticket they ever have because i know warning kenshin does have a special plate and a lot of people heart especially from the late 90s into the early 2000s from of course samurai x and the uh black cat of warning kenshin on toonami but nonetheless, that is it. That is what's happening. Let me know in the comment below how you feeling about all this. Are you still going to buy the AC Quatch? Are you not? Uh, what What is exactly your plan here? Or this just a big turn off the point of no longer playing PSO? Let me know in the comment below. And uh, like always, I will go ahead and see you in the comments.